Good morning. How are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, today uh, I pulled my uh, my trail cams off of their uh, their mounting posts and, and went through them. Uh, the trail cams that I had, uh, if you remember a while back, I unboxed and went through the setup of a couple of trail cams. Uh, if I think about it, I will put a link to the video down below so you can see what trail cams I was using. I want to say they were CERN brand. I can't remember. I can't find the, the instruction manual anywhere. But uh, what this video is about, it's about the trail cams and what they saw on my farm over the course of, uh, what, about four months, I believe it was. Uh, there were some predators in there wandering along my fence line right up against the buildings. A lot of it ends up being, you know, our animals walking around in there. But uh, yeah, there were numerous predators coming up to the buildings. Uh, one of them, you'll see a skunk. Uh, that skunk was a problem. He's no longer an issue. Now, I'm sure there's going to be other skunks that can come into the area. And I'm not 99%, 100% positive that that was the skunk that uh, I took care of recently. Uh, we got him cornered out there in the... Uh, the the bird barn and uh so i ran to the house got my rifle got a box of ammo i got these little cardboard boxes of 22 rounds grabbed a box of that ran downstairs uh out to the barn that box had two fucking rounds in it so i loaded up the gun uh went into the barn trying my best freaking get around a corner to uh get an angle on him without fucking getting sprayed shot a couple of times 90 nine percent positive i hit him he fucking ran but he couldn't get out he was trying to get out this tiny little hole that he wouldn't fucking fit through now i'm out of rounds but i'm i'm not positive that he's freaking so ran back to the house ran upstairs and me running that doesn't go well you know i'm old and fat uh got another box of ammo this one had a lot of fucking rounds and it ran back down got out to the barn opened it up and i grabbed a box of fucking bird shot that didn't do me any good so i run back to the house back upstairs grab my last box of 22 rounds and there's only four rounds in there it's like all right i can definitely get this done with four rounds and hopefully i can do it without coming out and smelling like a fucking skunk the barn fucking reeked but somehow i managed to get in there take care of the problem and didn't get sprayed the entire time uh that was fine then we just left him laying there for a day and then fucking went in a garbage bag and scooped him up and took care of him uh so you won't see him uh, in future videos. Yeah, he won't be a reoccurring guest. Uh, but this is just a video. Uh, it, the cameras took uh, probably a thousand pictures, but I just deleted all of them. This is probably, I, don't, I didn't count them, 40, 50, 60 uh, short clips of animals that would pass in front of the camera. And they were there long enough that it activated the camera and made it uh, actually record. The pictures, I don't know how exactly it activates. If it was like really quick, it would just activate fast enough, take a quick pick, and then it was done. The camera got moved at one point in time and it was facing the building, so it didn't record much for a while. My second camera was on what we call the courtyard. It's in between two of the barns and it's fenced off on all sides. We wanted to have that there to see if anything was actually entering the building from there. The four months it was out there, it recorded a building with the lights on multiple multiple times you know snow or whatever activated the camera and at one point in time uh one of the boys ran through going out to the barn in the middle of the night to to do something other than that that camera didn't record shit the other one recorded quite a bit but here here's all the clips watch that and then uh, i'll talk to you again when it's over
Well, I hope you like watching all them videos. I found it pretty fascinating to see what's actually going on out there in the middle of the night at, you know, two, three o'clock in the morning. Uh, I think if this video does pretty good, I want to do it again because I'm already, I already got new batteries and I'm going to go and I'm going to put the cameras out in my tree lines out here. I got a, uh, uh, damn it, what kind of fucking tree? They're, they're conifers. Uh, cedar i'm pretty sure they're cedar trees that run my uh west side and north side of the property uh i'm gonna put the uh cameras out there one over here on the west side facing to the north and then one uh, probably on the north corner facing the west and see what kind of freaking activity goes on in those trees because it's they're uh the trees were planted by somebody many 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 years ago because they're all in nice fucking little rows and it's kind of creepy when you go out there and stand in the in the tree line and you look down it and you're thinking there's going to be some weird fucking apparition demon thing come stepping out into the row of the trees and come at you but that's where i'm going to put the cameras see what happens if this video does well i'll do another one you know six months in the future if if it records anything i'm sure it will probably record even more out there in the tree line than it did here but Thanks for watching. Don't forget to do all that fucking YouTube stuff, clicking the buttons, subscribes, and notifications and shit. And I'll see you next time.